So ATAC is a Silverstone based uh, subcon machine shop. We supply the local motorsport sector, composites industry, and basically anything to do with four wheels and race circuits. We are a very different company now to what we were when we started 10 years ago. You know, we went from just me, a couple of machines, designing and making parts for small companies, moved into Fiber Axis, 2021 when we stepped into our first automated Hermione cell, not the one beside me, but a C22 smaller one. Um, that's probably where we saw a real turning point in the business. We're a small team, we don't have many people, we're a small unit in quite a, a high value area when it comes to paying for rent on units. So that automation cell was the key, I think, to basically making an output much bigger than it should be for a company of our size because we can just run 24 seven. We don't need groups of people to run it. So that has been the key for us. Since our first automation cell, you know, we've had it since 2021, a few years, we've got a really good handle on what that's done for the business. Like roughly, we can see that that one machine is responsible for between 40 to 50% of our company turnover. Bear in mind, we're a nine machine company. So the decision's already been made that as soon as we can get another automation cell, it was the next logical step for us. And the acquisition of this machine is to cope with bigger components. The existing pallet loader could only do up to a certain size of parts. Everything else has still been run in manual machines. This puts a feather in our cap that we can now automate everything up to 700 mil long components. Having a child for me, the automation cell was definitely part of the decision with everything that was going on in my life. Traditionally, you know, we work a lot of hours over 10 years, six, seven day weeks. Um, with a child on the way, I'm not gonna get away with it. An automation cell is cheaper than a long-term divorce. Um, it's the only way for me to get that work-life balance back. You know, I can have some time home with a child, the machine can lift the heavy weight for us. So staff were already difficult to find. Obviously the recent political input isn't gonna help that situation. We have already for a few years now been focusing on the machinery. We use this type of kit to infill all the problems that I think a lot of other companies may be facing at the moment. So implementing automation into the type of industry we serve, I think it's part of a long list of processes that we do. So, you know, we have a really good skilled team. I think standardization is key. We work really hard on standardizing the fixturing across all of our uh, five axis cells. The tool libraries are all standardized. We're trying to minimize the risk wherever we can. That enables us to do things like run one-off unproven parts in a pallet cell overnight because we are that confident in the software and the processes that we have in place. So the Hermes themselves, the features that they have in them, you know, automatic tool breakages, all things that you might have to write in manually on other types of machine. This is all part and parcel of enabling us to run this level of kit completely unmanned, no operator, and we know that the safety checks are in place that it's quite capable of running itself under those conditions. So I think the ability for us to make parts that are right first time every time is absolutely critical. The industry that we serve, we're incredibly fast paced. Not only do we not have the time to be remaking parts if they don't come out right first time, but a lot of what we do is one-offs. So that's why the systems that we have in place have to be right from point of programming, tool setting, proving out the job, like everything just needs to be one fluid transaction, finished part, bang on first time. Buying this level of equipment is obviously a very expensive endeavour. We are a relatively small company considering this type of kit that we have. The relationship we have with Kingsbury and that we've developed over the years, you know, we, we finance and shut this through a bank. Banks are generally quite cold, they don't look at the personal aspect, they don't look at us and what we're doing as a company and, you know, everything that's around us, they just look at the card hold numbers and you know most of the time you struggle to get past the front door. The relationship with Kingsbury's enabled us to work with them. You know, we've shown that we've got confidence in the Hermione machines, they've been great for us, and in return they show confidence in us and they've been instrumental in assisting us with flexible financing to make this happen really. As a company we're already doing stuff that we never thought we'd be doing 10 years ago. Um, we've kind of proven the recipe that a pallet loader for us is the way forward. Obviously, we are making a huge investment next year. We're moving into a bespoke built 16,000 square foot facility. So we'll get that one out of the way and then we'll see what the future brings. But I think for us, yeah, more automation, probably different types of automation, um, you know, 
a nice robot cell would be a good addition, I think, to us in the future. But yeah, let's get move out of the way and see what the future brings us.